This is DIY Mushroom Tech with Chapter 2.7.3. In this lecture I will teach you how to create great double extracted tincture. Since this project is multilayered, I decided to take an unusual approach. I produced this video in a way, that it can also be used as a printout. That means you can use it offline, or even use just print some single pages of it. All the design that are shown can also be downloaded. In this video we will create a great tincture. We will use a double extraction. I will explain you first the recipe. Then I will walk you through the process and the setup. At the end I will give you the bill of materials. Before we start. I did put a lot of work into this lecture series. I hope you enjoy it. Maybe you want to consider to buy me a coffee? I do mention this unintentionally. There is a serious reason behind it. That is why I ask. In life there is balance everywhere. Summer and winter, day and night, hot and cold, and so on. It's obviously natural, that taking and giving is also a polarity that needs to be in balance. Only when there is balance can we, as humans, achieve harmony and genuine happiness. That means, if you take something for example from the internet, you should give something back. Please check for yourself if your life is in balance. If you want, you can support me with a donation. That would be great. You can also support any other good project you redeem worth it. Send someone a smile, leave somewhere a nice comment, or just be joyous and spread some love. Let us start with the recipe that is needed. You start with the first extraction. You use half a liter of 60% alcohol. You mix it with 42 g of dry mushroom powder. You let it sit in a dark bottle for 4 to 6 weeks. After you take it out and filter it. With the mushroom mash you perform the second extraction. You cook the mushroom leftovers with pure water for 4 to 6 hours in a pressure cooker. You only let it simmer. There should be no air exhaust. After cooking, you mix both extract ions together. To achieve a nice end product, you need to filter the mixture. I will explain you the filtering process later. After that you have tincture ready for your usage. Here you have the recipe as a detailed plan. It is exemplary for zero. 5 liters of extraction with 60% alcohol content. That gives you at the end when you combine both extract ions 1 liter of tincture with 30% alcohol content. Easiest way is to use 95% alcohol and to water it down to the target percentage. Here you find the calculation path for how much water you need to dilute it. If you want to have a 60% alcohol content, you should add 0.292 liters of water. That will give you a total of 0.792 liters with 60% alcohol content. If you want to reach 50% alcohol content, you need to add 0.450 L pure water. If you want to reach 40% alcohol content, you need to add 0.688 L pure water. To maintain a 1 to 12 ratio of dry mushroom to menstruum you need to add 66 G to your 60% alcohol and 79 G to your 50% alcohol and 99 G to your 40% alcohol. When you later combine the first alcohol extraction with the second water extraction the alcohol level will be halved. So, why do we use this 1 to 12 ratio? It is quite simple explained. When you create dry mushroom powder, 500 ml will equal 43 gram. You could of course stuff in more, but then you would not be able to shake it afterwards. Here you see the powder with the added liquid. It just fills up to the top. The top is barely covered. If you use more powder, some of it will not be in contact with the liquid, and this no solving of the components will happen. This you cannot use any higher ratio. 
If you have finer powder, you could, but then filtering would be also much harder. The 1 to 12 ratio is commonly used for mushroom tincture. For herb tincture on use is a 1 to 5 ratio. Now we will investigate in detail the steps you need to follow and the setup you will need. This is the process flow. We will start with first and second extraction. After we mix the liquids and filter the mixture. Then we can bottle it and put a label on the bottle. Mix mushroom powder or small dried mushroom pieces together with alcohol. 1-12 ratio. Let it solve for 4 to 6 weeks. Stir slash shake the mixture every day to ensure a good extraction. After the 6 weeks, I use a reusable nylon filter bag. They perform really good. Use a funnel with a wide opening and pour the first extraction into the filter bag. At the end, you need to apply some pressure to get as much liquid out of the bag as possible. The bags are made to withstand external pressure. Do not be shy. As you only have limited hand force, you should resolve to taking a press. Here you see a hand press. It is a manual kitchen fruit juicer. As I was lucky to buy a cheap tincture press, I am using that one. Here you see the frame and the punch. This is the straining element placed on the draining element. All parts that come into contact with the extraction liquid have been in the dishwasher prior to usage. The filter bag with the mushroom mash is placed into the filter element. The anti-splash element is not really necessary for mushroom mash. I used it anyway. Place a jar under the drainage element. Start to turn the spindle to apply some pressure. Be slow and steady in your movements. Soon you will see the first liquid. Maximum pressure is reached. At the end I was able to gain the liquid I would have not been able to harvest, if I did not have this press. 135 ml of extra liquid. There are lots of cheap press that you can buy. I guess it is worth the shot. For the second extraction you need your pressure cooker again. Put the mash, the mushroom left over, into a pressure cooker. You see that the mash is nice dry and consists of mainly one piece. I did break it while I took it out of the bag. It still smells of alcohol, but is very dry. Put the mash, the mushroom left over, into a pressure cooker together with pure water. Rehydrate it with the pure water. I used the same amount of pure water that I had previously gained by performing the first extraction. Use a clean spoon to mix the mash. Mix until you have a homogeneous mixture. Again, one can notice, that more than 112 ratio will lead to powder not being covered by liquid. Close the cooker. Heat it up. As soon as you reach the point of air exhaust, turn down the stove until air exhaust stops. Let it simmer on that temperature for 4 to 6 hours. Open it after 4 to 6 hours and cool down. Notice again that high ratio of liquid to dry mushroom. Use a funnel with a wide opening and pour the second extraction into the filter bag. At the end, you need to apply some pressure to get as much liquid out of the bag as possible. The bags are made to withstand external pressure. Do not be shy. Use again your pressing device to enhance your harvest of liquid. This time I had a slightly higher output of liquid. The mash tart looks nice firm and dry. Do not filter before mixing. Here you see on the left first alcohol extraction. On the right second water extraction. They have already been filtered. That is not a good practice. As soon as you mix them, you have to filter again.
the combined two liquids. Now the double extraction tincture consists of one volume part of first extraction and one volume part of second extraction. Left to right. First alcohol extraction. Second water extraction. Mixture before filtering. 100 ml and the rest. Text. First filter, kitchen filter. Second filter, 1T filter. Second filter, 1T filter. Third filter, 2T filter combined. Fourth filter, 1 mild coffee filter. Mild is for fast brew. That means it has a big granulation size. The opening should be on the bottom. The plastic variants have them on the side. This is good for coffee, but not for filtering in general. Fifth filter, regular coffee filter. Use a cheap one. You only want one filter zone. The expensive one have at least three different filter zones from the top to the bottom. You want the same grit on the whole filter. Here you could also use two filter combined into another. Sixth plus seventh plus eighth filter. Here you should buy a professional filter. I advise to use as last filter a level 5 Wattman filter. I bought this Buckner funnel together with three different types of filter paper as a set. Red, soft and wide pores, fast filtering for coarse deposits. Yellow, medium wide pores, medium fast filtering for crystalline deposits. Blue, dense, narrow pores, slow filtering for finest deposits. As this is a GDR product, you will not be able to source this outside of Germany. I but you find a plenty of laboratory filter for a Bucher funnel. When you place your filter paper within the Bucher funnel, you need to moisturize it with pure water. Otherwise, your results will have not good filtering quality. Pour your liquid on the wet filter paper and wait. As the filter paper has very small pores, filter as much as possible in advance or the filtering process will be very very slow. Overview over complete setup, 8 step process. I work from the right to the left. Step by step. It works quite fast. As coffee filter are quite cheap, you can replace often, if they start to work too slow. Here are the 8 steps in detail. You can also see how the liquid gets clearer with every step taken. You can use more or less steps. I like the number 8, so I chose 8. After the last steps, you should measure your alcohol content with an alcohol meter. This one ranges from 0 to 90%. I would advise to use one that goes from 0 to 40%. When you replace or change a filter, do not toss it before you give a good press. Store the tincture, 112 ratio, it in a glass bottle in a dark space. The final solution should have at least 20% alcohol content. Use a measuring cylinder and a small funnel to fill the pipette bottles. Do not be cheap. Use always a little bit more than 100 ml for a 100 ml bottle. The usage of a small funnel is advised, as it simplifies the process. Normally I never place a pipette or the funnel on the table. This happened only for the picture. One filled bottle. You could also label it before bottling it up. But you always have to label it. 
never have bottles without a label standing somewhere. Design a label that gives out the necessary information like the filling date, the used ingredients, the ratio, the alcohol volume percentage and maybe also the recommended daily intake. Put the label it in the middle on the bottle. After that you push the sides of the label on the bottle. Here you see an example of a label that I created. For each batch always individualize the correct bottling date, alcohol content and volume of tincture. Let us finish this lecture with the bill of materials. This is the bill of materials. It is a checklist for you. It is a good starting point if you are building up your equipment. Of course, that are only suggestions. You are the master on your ship. Alcohol 95% for further dilution. Bought at a local store. Funnel set. Stainless steel. Reusable food grade nylon filter bag. Reusable food grade nylon filter bag. Regular simple kitchen filter. Hand pressure juicer for kitchen. 2 liter tincture press. Old machine from a pharmacy liquidation. I bought mine for a fraction of the currently asked price on eBay. Cheap 2L tincture press one can buy at AliExpress. I think this machine will be enough for creating great mushroom tincture. Laboratory water bottle for pure water. Long curved head is nice and practical. Buchner funnel. Filter paper. Set from an old DDR pharmacy. Buchner funnel. One can also get cheaper ones. Glass variants are also available. Laboratory filter paper. Make sure that the paper you chose does match the diameter of your Buchner funnel. Do some research. Simple alcohol meter. Advanced alcohol meter with three different measuring ranges. Pipet Botleys. I use 100 milliliters. I have a regular laser printer and I use regular DIN A4 adhesive sticker sheets to create my labels. That concludes my lecture. Please tell us, how do you create your tincture? What are your little tricks? Please share some knowledge. Next, is a chapter I have not yet started working on. I would like to create mushroom sweets. Preferably mushroom gummy. They will be based on the tincture. I will keep you posted. This was the last section of this summer video production run. The creation of these videos really takes a lot of time. I hope you like them and that you had a nice time with me. Thank you for tuning in. Auf Wiedersehen.